Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dion and you're watching Reptiliatics. So I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you all so much. At the time I'm saying this, I have 79,559 subscribers. And I imagine that by the time this video comes out on Friday, we'll have surpassed my next milestone of 80,000 subscribers. So for that, I just wanna say thank you all so very much. I appreciate you all. You're all a part of this journey, part of this community to me. And without you, none of this would be possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're new here, consider subscribing down below and clicking the notification bell so you can also become part of the community. If you enjoy videos about different specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates, there's definitely something for you to learn about and enjoy on my channel. Well guys, today is sort of like a, a story time, if you will. See, last week, I brought home a new animal that I've been wanting to own since pretty well the moment I learned they even existed. Someone usually finds an animal for sale, inquires a bit about it, you know, makes sure everything's good, and then proceeds to purchase the animal, right? Easy peasy. Well, <laughs> oh man. Well, I wish that were the case here because in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I went about finally acquiring my dream turtle species, the black-breasted leaf turtle, or Geomida spangleri. Now, for today's question of the day, I actually want to ask you guys to drop some name suggestions in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think we should be naming this adorable new friend. Super exciting. Let's go ahead and open the box here. Thank you again, Emma, for sending this amazing little critter here. All right. Heat pack is still warm. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Hello, little friend. Guys, look at them. Oh my gosh. Hello. Look at your little face. Oh, what a special moment. Finally, I have a pet turtle. And not only any kind of pet turtle, look at this. Gee, Spangler Eye. Oh, man. Thank you, Emma. Thank you. All right, guys. So here is the moment we've all been waiting for. 
we're gonna put this beautiful little turtle into their enclosure which if i do say so myself is looking incredible it's gonna be really nice so let's go ahead now and introduce this sweet little guy or girl to the enclosure man i love their eyes it's so wholesome I'm only gonna get the tape off. I'm gonna do a great packing job. All right. Hi, little friend. Mind if I pick you up? Look at them. Oh, they're so cute. All right, let's gently make this least amount of stress as possible. Hey, go, buddy. Go ahead. Welcome to your new home. He's like, uh, whoa, where am I? <laughs> I keep saying he, but I actually have no idea. All right, little buddy, you do your thing. We're gonna put the lid on and let you settle in for a few days. Then we'll try feeding them. Put our lid on. All right, guys, so our little turtle friend has been here a few days now. I thought it'd be nice to try and offer them some food and uh, before we start doing pellets and stuff, I figured we'd do some live prey because that's probably more enticing. So I have some mealworms and crickets. Figured we could start there and see what they say. Oh my gosh, they're interested. Hello. You're so cute. Look how observant they are. Would you like a Jiminy? Hello. Hello. Would you like a Jiminy? I don't know if it's weird to say, but they remind me of like a long neck dinosaur. The way they like put their head up. Oh, don't be scared. You're okay. Come on. Oh, he's interested. Oh, yay, look. Oh. Oh my goodness. I mean, I guess what else would you expect, but. Oof, poor Jiminy. Should I say Jimietta? That was a girl. Look at that. Someone was hungry. Ugh. Made a little mess. And so the turtle mess begins. You gonna get the rest of that? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Go for it. Yep. Mm, so cute. Ooh, you got some, caught a bit stuck to your lip there. Trying to get, there you go. Oh, I love how they have like a little tongue. It's so funny. <laughs> so cute. All right, get it. Looks like the springtails are already coming over to clean. Good job. What good manners, finishing their food. <laughs> oh, that's pretty wholesome. Hi, right, little cutie. There's a mealworm for you. Got it. Sorry about the shaky camera, guys. It's kind of hard to get in this container. There you go. You're so small. <laughs> Literally the smallest little turtle, and that's the adult size. Four and a half inches. Unbelievable. Yeah, so this isn't a sponsored post or anything, but, uh, you know, little Canadian flex. I was going through a few different brands of turtle food, and I really like the ingredients list on this, and it's a three millimeter pellet. So either way, we'll be softening them and offering them in a little water. So that'll be supplementing their diet as well, as well as a bit of red colored fruit. So wonderful. So there you go guys, this is my new black-breasted leaf turtle. Now I'm gonna share the story with you of how I got this amazing animal. Well guys, it all started when I first came about this species. You may know my friend Mike Titula or Graphic Phoenix. All right guys, we've just arrived. Hey! Man. My man! <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> Welcome to the... <laughs> 
<laughs> a few years ago, he acquired this incredible small species of Southeast Asian turtle. Bogu Falls. And as soon as I saw his first video on them, I was blown away. They're such a cool looking turtle, you know? The shape of their shell, just plastron, like everything is just so funny and adorable. They have these big googly eyes and it's, it's rendered them a few funny nicknames too. But the qualities that I really love about these animals, besides their unique appearance, is that they are actually one of the smallest turtle species in the world, attaining an adult size of approximately 11 to 15 centimeters or 4.5 inches. And that really makes them the perfect candidate for rearing in captivity as many species of turtle or tortoise get to be really big and require large enclosures to thrive and do well in captivity. The other thing that I really like about them is that they thrive in cooler than average temperatures reptiles are normally kept at. And that's something I'm already dealing with keeping Europlatus or Europlatus leaf tail geckos. So everything about keeping this animal was conducive to the environment and reptile room I'm already maintaining in my home. It was just a matter of finding one, and I happened to stumble across this advertisement for one of these animals. There's this classifieds page called Kijiji, which is kind of the equivalent of our Craigslist, and someone was offering an adult animal for a really good price. I would say too good to be true because these turtles are actually quite expensive and worth a lot of money. And so I inquired a little bit and I noticed that the ad said, e-transfer is the only method of payment allowed. And right away that kind of was sketchy to me because normally you should be able to pay in cash. But I thought maybe with what's going on in the world right now, maybe people are trying to avoid transactions that involve physical money. But you know, with e-transfers, there's no way of really tracing it back. I waited a little bit and then a week went by and I noticed that the price of the turtle dropped in half. At that point, I was like, man, this is a scam for sure. I contacted the seller again, and poor her, honestly. I wish I was more trusting. These days, you gotta be really careful for scams. I messaged her and I said, hey, so I'm considering driving all the way up. Would you consider holding this animal for me? And I'll pay you an e-transfer as you requested in person. And she lives in another city that's actually almost four to five hours away from me. And her response immediately told me that this wasn't a scam because she said that someone else was already gonna be coming up to purchase the turtle, but that she would let me know if they changed their mind. Oh my gosh, this, this deal is real and it's possible. A few hours later, I got a message from Mike's girlfriend, Bree, asking me if I wanted that turtle because we'd already been talking about it and how good the deal was. And I said, well, absolutely. And she's like, I can make it happen. <laughs> the process of orchestrating this is just so ridiculous. I'd never done anything like it. So Brie contacted the seller too and they basically negotiated with her to get this turtle. Brie messaged me back saying, well, here's the thing. Emma Lynn Sampson. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like going with the uh, abdomen. What is the favorite food of rabbits? Hey. Oh, well, like favorite Grass. food or just like what they're supposed to eat? Or I feel like it probably says like lettuce. Probably carrots. It says lettuce. Yeah. That's stupid. It says Dion. With an exclamation mark. Very you know? excited. You gotta say it with, with Dion. intent. Dion. <laughs> Wait, do you know what's in here? Who is our good friend and also a YouTuber, lives about 15 minutes away from this seller. So first thing I'm thinking is how stupid am I that I hadn't even thought of this beforehand and I was actually considering driving all the way up there and back. Like it, it all just kind of fell in place. What ended up happening, Brie messages Emma, asks Emma if she would consider going to pick up this turtle. And so basically the extravagant ordeal is that there were three parties involved with getting this turtle from this girl. And so Emma graciously drove all the way over to the girl's place picked up the turtle, brought it home, and has been taking care of it for me before shipping it off to me and having it arrive last week. Finally, I have this beautiful turtle. So the first thing I wanna do is give a huge thank you to Emma and Josh for taking care of my turtle, for picking it up for me and sending it to me. That was really sweet of you guys. I also wanna take the time to thank Mike and Bree 
for essentially making this happen because it wouldn't even have crossed my mind if you guys hadn't done that. So thank you so much. And thank you to this young woman who I don't even know who you are who was offering the turtle because I'm really, really thankful and happy to have this little cutie in my reptile family now. Hello everyone, my name is Emma. You may know me from my YouTube channel, Emma Lynn Sampson. As you guys know by now, I had the opportunity to go and pick up this awesome little leaf turtle and take care of him for a few days and then ship him out to die on. If you all want to see the process of me picking up this turtle, caring for him, such as giving him soaks, and then also packing him up to ship off to die on, then be sure to head on over to my channel. If you enjoyed watching die on's video, I'm pretty certain that you would enjoy my video as well, so be sure to head on over there and check that out for some more awesome turtle content. Well, my friends, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's video. As Emma said, definitely consider checking out her video. I'll link it down below so you can see the first part of this whole ordeal. I really, really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you again for getting us to 80,000 subscribers. It's just unbelievable. I honestly never saw this happening as quickly as it did and I appreciate you all so much. Thank you. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend and I look forward to seeing you all on Tuesday. Bye guys.